and welcome to the Bench Monster TV show. I'm Ashley Lynn Condre. And I am the Bench Monster, Ryan Canelli. Oh. Thank you for joining hey, us. Always it, good to have you guys here. It is always a pleasure to have the Bench Monster crew, the team Bench Monsters. Bench Monster fam. Bench Monster fam here on a Thursday night, 7 p.m. This lady had a birthday this week. August 4th was her birthday. So I guess we celebrate it all week. Yep. We sure do. Yeah. And they were how, a week. Yeah. So did you get a lot of presents for your birthday? Not yet, but I will. Well, I got you a present. Yes. What did you get me. from me? I got Beats headphones. Beats, uh, what do they, what do they call them? Solo? Beats Solo. Solo. Yeah. Dre. Beats yeah. by Dre. Beats by Dre. Beats Solo. And how do you like them? I like them so far. Okay. So I, I'm not really into the earmuff 1980s I thing. I use headphones so often that it's worth it. I, I have AirPods and then I want it, like, I have one of each of the nicest type headphones right. I can have. I've got AirPods. So like I can I can still skate because skateboard that's the only thing you can't have a helmet with the beats. Okay. So I've got my AirPods for skateboarding, so I can still have the helmet on, and then I've got Beats for like the gym because it's it's easier like because you have to I constantly have to take my AirPods out because people constantly start start talking and I'm like I can't hear you with these on, and so I take them out and I'm just constantly setting them places. Right. And, but with these, all I have to do is. And like it stays on my head, and yeah. I, then I can still hear, and so they're well, more convenient. As long as you like them, and as long so, as you'll use them, I and, use, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I'll use them. Yeah. Okay, so what else is going on? We uh, mm, Tuesday night we sat down with the gym owner at uh, Impact Fitness, and we were plotting and planning the Canelli Classic, and we are. Well, I don't know if we should say we have the money. We have a lot of money of it, a lot of money of it. Yeah, so we're trying to, grammar. Well, well, it's, it's been a rough week. Are you week. sure that you have that? Like you've seen that money? Like well, yeah, we're like um, uh, five thousand already, and we're trying to get. Like you have it. Not yet. We're trying, okay. but what I'm we're gonna, what we're planning on doing is the situation. Yeah, but you know, like I said, we're planning on having a male biggest bench, female biggest bench, male coefficient bench, female coefficient bench, and paying. Glad we get. Yeah, pay, paying first through second on each one of those. Hopefully, if the if more prize money comes in, but we got to get the ball rolling. I mean, we can throwing a meat is easy. You just throw a meat, but yeah. getting the money that is the trick part. We're trying to do a money yeah, meat. Yeah, yeah. Trying time. trying to get cash so we can uh, have some prize money because trophies and T-shirts are cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mary Askew actually is going to be designing the trophies. I guess we're going to do kind of like the Pharrell, the uh ufc type belts that'd be fun the gold wrapper chain thing so yeah, it's trying to make it fun and uh, it'll be a geared lifting meet it won't be a raw no raw as far as i know um you won't get as good of a turnout there's i don't i can't i don't know, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to make everybody happy anybody that would do it geared around here like, like that changes the, the game completely not everybody benches geared out here no. in shirts that's the bad thing no so. that's a game changer I, well what do you do? I can think of maybe two names we'll get. I know. What do you I, do? What, what do you think we should do? You give me some gonna input. Have to have raw. Half raw. You, yeah. Well, you know, maybe maybe put way more money towards the gear the geared so that you're encouraging people to. But okay. if you don't have a raw. Yeah, raw. Raw, raw, raw. Your boat. Yeah. Okay. Well, these oh, are. Yeah. We, Who'd do it? That's Try what I thought about. And start. Well, now if it now if it's raw or shirted, then try to think about it, and you're like, yep, oh, they might do it. Yep, yeah, they I might got, do it. I got yep, you. Yep, they can just yeah. lay down it's on the It's a bench tough one. It, like, you know, yeah, doing no, my best. I, I, well, thanks for I, putting in your two cents finally <laughs> about it. Appreciate I that. know if you would have told me, doing I think your I, fancy hair. I think I mentioned that when you somebody said something about it. Well, only be, I was like, oh, that's not right. We're you planning it. Yeah. Okay. I said that a long time ago. Just nobody listened. We listen to everything you say because it's, it's so important. I think I said it to you. Um, let's see. We don't have a speed bench workout this week because I forgot the camera on Friday. I noticed that. Yeah, I had a brain fart. So I didn't know if that was done on We purpose. have a max effort, and my max effort actually sucked this week. Heinz and myself kind of had – well, it's going around our work. We have People are getting this – it's not COVID, but it's like um, – flu-like symptoms and stuff and we were both nauseated as shit on tuesday night 
Like, ugh. Like, I had an alien in my stomach. That's weird. Yeah, I didn't. It only lasted a day, though, but it couldn't eat and had a horrible workout. So don't expect anything phenomenal from me on Max Effort Night. But I did want to try the new shirt that I received from uh, Pharrell. And I liked it, actually. It had a lot of stretch in it. Um, my performance was piss poor, but I still wanted to see what it could do. And keep in mind, you know, I'm carb depleting this week because we are going to Silverwood Theme Yay. Park in, where is it, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho? The further north, yeah, Idaho, that and water theme park. So we're gonna go. Uh, it's supposed to be cooler that day, though. So I'm nervous about that. Yeah, I'm going in the wave really... pool, and then I'm gonna do some uh, some slides, and and it's gonna be a good time. But then when I get back from that, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm gonna get on some MK six seven seven, and I'm gonna eat and get my body weight back up uh, to where it should be three twenty ish somewhere in there. Right now three oh two. Like a, I look like a like a. I don't know. I feel like a sixth grader at 302. Hey, we got uh, a little bit of videos here we're going to play. And as we always do, we start out with uh, uh, me first? fancy lady here with your fancy hair. You're really using like that it? crimper again. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's cool. I like it. Yeah. It's nice for something okay. different. Is that all I it does with crimp? I think so, yeah. Okay. I can't think of anything. Doesn't else. curl or nothing? Okay. So, let um, me curl with it. Got some last minute uh, entries here in your. Uh, what do we got? Deadlift? Uh, yeah, maybe. What's this 390? I just put it on here like five seconds ago. Double. 390 for a double. Okay, let's check it out. How's the internet working? Good? Sort of? So far, so good. Uh, right? Uh, it's oh, looking okay. Just let's, okay, really? So I far. I haven't seen any messages. Okay, let's, let's check out your 390. What are we doing here, Miss Ashley? 390. 390 okay. deadlift. Is this one of these paused deadlifts where you pull it no. half? No. No, this is not paused right okay but the last time i pulled was pause so when i didn't have to pause you can say that you're, you're a three lift power lifter you squat oh, bench yeah. and deadlift oh, yeah. yeah you sure do is this just for a single are you kidding i don't know because we've said this how many times have we said this folks i think i've said three to four different times this is okay. 390 for two well i get excited i've said it three or four times on here and i, I said it three or four times before. don't yell at me my Sorry, show. my voice is just getting louder. Okay, let's check your technique and form out here. Looking damn good. You got a okay. strong back. Thanks. Now, that is 390 pounds. Yes. Um, what would I have to pull to be equal to you? Well, how much are you weighing? I weigh 302 right now. Pretty strong there. How are you feeling that day? If you had to face. gauge your strength that day, would you say you're... How much? <laughs> what do I got to do? <laughs> Nine, let's see here. Um, well, hurry up. People are waiting. Okay. Yeah. You 900? Have to do 906 for, I can't... Two, for two reps. 906 for two? Okay. I got it. Well, okay. I didn't actually. And my L1 through four would be destroyed. I'd be in a wheelchair. Or something. Yeah, about that... 900. Okay. You're stronger than me. I got it. Yes. Yeah. You're pound for pound person. Okay. We got some, uh, we got a squat here. Let's walk us through okay. this one here. Let me get the background image here so you don't have to see us. It looks pretty light, so I think you got it's the sleeves on. Paused. You don't have wraps. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, the wraps on. Amp. It's still light. Who's for designing wraps, your for programming for that? Now, what you, who did told you to do pause this, that, and the other? Who's your programming? Are you doing pause it yourself? Squats and pause deadlifts are so good for you. I know. Well, I don't do them. I did it this day, and then the next time I deadlifted, it felt like it was floating out of the top as soon as I could fire immediately. Right. Oh, Jesus. Good form. I did these today, but I had to have somebody else spot me because you weren't there. I had yard work to do today, so I couldn't make it to the gym. But the day's not over yet. I can still go work out if I had to. We Looking good on go the spots. Out. We don't miss workouts. So you're, I know we don't. We're going to the gym. I'm a slacker. You, maybe well, you're going to finish. You're going to do your workout after the show. I have plenty to... of time. Hey, look, gym looking 24 good. 7. Thank you. That was a set. My pauses weren't as long. That was my top set, and the pauses got a little bit shorter. Okay. They, I was trying to do really long ones. Looks good to me. Oh, I, I don't think I was gonna put in another one to show that I was doing longer ones, but I think I figured you'd probably delete it because you'd be like, "That's the same video." I do get a little picky about the videos. Okay, I see Ashley Bench. What are we doing here? I watched it wow. earlier. It's a self handoff too. Let's check that out. Let me put my background. I think that's image. why it made it on because it's only one seven on the new Forza Bench. Love that bench. Self handoff, no spot. How much again? Uh, one seventy. One seventy, and I don't hand off for you. No. You're an amazing individual. <laughs> remember, well, remember how I, how I had you stand there once or twice just to make sure. Am I standing there right now? No, nah, I don't think so. No, we're over there benching. Like, was this? That was Friday. 
Yeah, see, so you're over there. You're all yeah, over there. We're over there doing There's decline nobody. or something. So if I have help, help. There's nobody. No. Nobody's coming. Here I come. Oh, you did come. Yeah, I did come over just to stand there. Okay, you did come. Because I got my cuffs on. I can see. But I didn't know that you were going. You were just being nice and thoughtful. Yeah. I'm very nice and thoughtful. <laughs> Butt down. Me too. Looking good. Um, Man, you're on fire. It's been feeling better lately. I see, mean, you didn't even like need me. So now I waddle back over there. <laughs> Where am I going? I, well, mentally, though, it helps so much. Just right? for, Just to stand there. Just, just so I stand there. Just, just so in case, like, it's... Self-confidence thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll have to help out when I can. Because if nobody's there, all I think about is, oh, my gosh, what if this starts to feel too heavy? Oh, my gosh, what if this starts to feel too heavy? Oh, my gosh, what am I going to well, do if I fail? You won't fail. And then, when yeah, when you think those thoughts, you will. But okay. if there's somebody there, and That's you don't me. have to worry about it. Yeah, I come to save the you day. You can think about what you need to do. And all right. You're afraid of. Hey, here's another deadlift video. You want to talk us through this one? Uh, yeah, I got to see. Let's see. What are we doing? Um, this looks pretty light, too, so I think it's paused. It's either pause, paused deadlift or higher reps. I'd come in and deadlift with you, but I, I, I just suck. I like to no, do 315. Three it's about as you heavy as I want to go. I see Tiny Meekers in here joining us. He's a great deadlifter. Oh, He's hey, a crap bar deadlifter guy. He's strong, too. Yeah. Yeah, see, he does all three. I know. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is a pot. What do you pull it to your knees? Stop and start. One, two, three. I don't like that. It makes it so much harder. Well, this is going to have great carryover when you go to a three lift meet. You're going to kick some ass. It feels, yeah, it feels better when you get to pull it regular. Well, you're it's just, you're kinda just good to make it harder. Like, cause it's harder when you try to you get dead stop and then you got to get it going again at the top. Okay. And... I gotcha. So it's good to make it harder at the top because that's where I struggle. So if I can like maintain, you never struggle. You just you power through everything. You're you're an amazing no. individual. Okay. They wouldn't give me white lights at my last meet. I tried the same weight twice. Well, what was it and at the I top? I locked it out, but well, at the, I what? Uh, at the uh, at the uh, this last O'Malley meet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was impressed I got anyway. Red lights. <laughs> hey, I got red lights too. I fought it all the way up. I don't think I, I got any lights. Sure I was going to get red lights. There wasn't really. Okay. The second one, I thought I might. Cause the second one was smoother, but like I thought I had a chance. But the one before that, I knew I it well, was I, like all over the place. I'm trying to forget about that meet because it was very horrible for me. Um, let's move into some social media lifters here. We got, and I had to track down some. Uh, some interesting stuff, and let's see if they can uh, let's see if we can play it. Uh, it says big squat, and I think this is a guy by the name of Kyle Tiger. That's what it said. That's his real name. When I when I when I looked him up, uh, K I R V A Y Kirve. He's doing six seventy five, and I just thought it was impeccable form. I thought it was a really cool lift, and so I wanted to post it. And this guy looks like a he's built like a brick shit house, and six seventy five. I left the audio on because you don't see that every day. I wish I could do that. This guy's done this a time or two. I am not sure what he weighs, but he's a big man. And that was impressive. 675 on my back. I squatted that once in Florida when I was a younger man. It? Yeah. So, uh, I think it was 680, actually. I don't know if I went as deep as that, but I like to say I did it. Impressive individual. No, I'm not that impressive. Okay, this but next cat are. is uh, Johnny Kaufman. I found him on Instagram. He's doing an 800 pound deadlift and he, uh, kind of an intense individual. And I left the audio on because he's, uh, I thought he has pretty good form. I'm not a deadlift specialist, but let's, uh, let's check this cat out. That's how you do it. Sumo, 800. Okay, well, that was impressive. Like 800. I don't know what he weighed. Very impressive. Yeah. Um, hey, let's take a break and have a steak shake. I thought this was pretty cool. It made me gag, but uh, apparently it's Blaine Sumner, and he is going to grind up a medium rare steak in water in the blender and drink it. I left the audio on because he fun. gags. A, it made me gag. But let's check it out. Let's it's it's kind of cool. It's time for that steak shake, That's... baby. Um... 
Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm. Got that medium rare steak going on, nice and pink and frothy. It smells really bad. Oh, you're disgusting. Oh, down the hatch, baby. I think he does a lot of that where he like a lot of people do like chicken and they blend it and they drink it. But a, a medium rare steak and That's water too... is pretty disgusting. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, it takes a real crazy sob to do something like that and he's a cool cat and if that's the way you gotta you gotta drink your steak i guess that's how you do it, do it yeah. uh well i was cruising through the internet today and roger brome a team uh bench Ooh, monster bench monster fam member. yeah and he Very was getting cool. he's working in a titan shirt and he seemed to have the groove down so he said let's check out roger i don't know if that's a single ply double ply maybe roger will give us some feedback but Look pretty good to me. Good arch. I'm not sure on the weight, but nice, nice and low too. That's ready to bench. Oh, geez. Effortlessly, yeah. right? Way to go, Roger. That was really easy. Um, let's uh, cross that one out. Okay, who's next, Ashley? What says it right here? Pete who's Santi? Pete Santi doing a 585. He's a team bench monster crew, and I got to get him a t-shirt. I got to. That's something we haven't done. We didn't get out to the t-shirt place. No, um, we tried to do it last We tried Friday. to do it last week, but uh, boy, I just getting shit done is not my forte. Uh, Pete Santee, 585. Let's uh, let's rock that shit. Wife handing off. his wife. Uh, impeccable I form. This I love this guy, man. Like he does he does he does reps, he does he does big that's weight really and he's just a super cool cat too. And um, I like to pick his brain when he's around because I, uh, I'm always looking for the next greatest way to train and whatever he's doing. If there's something he can advise me to do, I would do it. Uh, where are we at? Oh, Derek Kaiser, another Bench Monster family member, joins us once in a while, sends me videos. Uh, I appreciate when people send me videos because I will put them on the show. He's doing some OHPs here. I think he's got the weight uh, on there, so let's check him out. 350 for two. Seated overhead press here. Jesus. Doing the He's same amount man. that I do for my working sets on deadlift and sometimes squat. Yeah, I told him I, I, I'd post that up. and uh, we, That's something we uh starting to incorporate more in our training is a lot of overhead press. Yeah. I we, wish I was strong. We neglect those quite a bit, but, uh, yeah, I wanted to make sure that uh, we start doing those. Okay, who's up next? Oh, Chris Logman. Chris Logman is Dan Logman's son. I was Come, like, whoa, another Logman. Easy. Uh, how old is Chris? Is um, 18, 17, 16? 16? I yeah. thought he was younger than eight. Uh, Michael, I'm trying to remember if I've heard. Michael Lupacek has been wor working extensively with him. And, He's 16 to 18. Yeah, Chris Logman range. hit uh, two uh, two PRs this night. He had a 265 and 275, included the 265. Ooh. But he has just come Very a long cool. way in a short amount of time, like 30 pounds he's put on his bench in like two months. He so works let's, hard. He man. works he's got a hard. Lot of potential. And he's just a, a positive kid. He helps mm -hmm. out. He loads weights. He... I mean, he shows up. He, he's a phenomenal kid, and he's going to go a long way. To the group. Uh, let's check out his uh, 265 here real quick. That's Mike Lupacek handing off for him. Yeah. Elbows tucked. He's come a long way. And, I, you know, when I was his age, I wasn't bench pressing nice. that. I can, I can attest to that right now. But uh, really phenomenal lift there, Chris. Nice and um, job, bud. I mean, I'll post this 275 next week. But, you know, for shit, maybe next week he has another maybe PR. Maybe will be, a, yeah, something yeah. else to post. Well, I wish I could make gains like that. Uh, oh, Mr. Dave Hoff is, seems to be back in action. Nice. I'm sure everybody's seen him on uh, Facebook. He looks like he did a uh, 1008, and he's doing a board press. He's in a phenom, and Dave's a phenomenal freaking powerlifting god. He is. He's incredible. Yeah, let's check out his 1063 here. I love that guy. Yeah. Got a good crew there doing a little one board. Hoff has some tremendous technique man he's just a amazing fucking lifter i tell you that yes. and a super nice guy a triple threat oh i god i enjoyed talking to him um, jesus so dave up. i could listen to him for hours and we did we did twice we were having we crown rail and queso and the next morning yeah we did that the in the evening for a couple hours but then the next day we opened that restaurant like we and shut it down at lunch and shut it down yeah, yeah. well we're hanging out with dave
Oh, and it just went by so hey. fast. That was really enjoyable. It wouldn't be a show without a little Ed Cohn. Yeah. Got a little uh, the great, the greatest of all time. Where are we at on getting him as a guest? Might I ask? Just this. Well, <laughs> um, don't look at me like that. You're making me. You're you're getting under my skin. Uh, Ed Cohn, a guest. Yeah. I'm gonna keep you guys. I'm, you gotta help me out if we want to make this happen. Well, and, and each week you gotta be reminding him in the chat box, asking him if he's contacted. Date. Um, sorry, Ed Cohn. Asking, when are know. we gonna see Ed, Ed hey. Cohn? Just, I, th I think with a lot of consistent pressure. I need to go hold uh, from all of us. I think we can pressure him into doing it. If I could make it happen, I would. But who do you guys think? We're going to get I'll, a better response from. I'm going to call. If I got on Facebook and messaged Ed Cohn, or if this guy. Who, who, who do you think we got a better chance? So it's really not a, an option for me to do it. So, anyhow. Where's my I, knife? I digress a little bit. Okay. My point is, you guys got to help me each week. Keep the reminding goat. him, or it won't happen. we got to get the There is going. no other. None. The greatest of all time. Let's check out Manitou. This is an older lift, but hell. <clears throat> Nine, 1995, maybe? I think it was uh, 900 pool here. I mean, always as impressive, no matter how many times I watch it. I love that man. Love that yellow singlet. And those shoes. Does he yeah. still have those shoes? Because I know Mark Bell. He threw... I love that video. Did you see that? Well, they didn't really throw them away, did they? Well, of course. I'm sure he took them out of there, but I, he threw them in the garbage. Well. Because he was like, he had his shoes that he was so proud of that he did all of his, you and know, Mark Bell threw big them in the garbage. In, and they're decades and decades old. And Mark Bell was like, oh, cool. Can I see those? And, and yeah, he those handed go... them to him. And he looked at them, threw them in the no. garbage, and handed him a new pair of shoes. Those shoes go. And he just looked at the camera. Yeah, those <laughs> so shoes go in the York Barbell Hall of Fame. That's where they belong. Those. I, so, I'm, yeah, I'm sure he saved those. Yeah. I'm sure he grabbed them right out of the trash can. It was just a joke. It, it was hilarious. It was a great it way was to funny. start the. It was a great way to start a, a video about squat, all about squatting. What's Mark Bell up to these days? Maybe we should have him on the show. I, he's looking pretty oh, lean. I, that'd be amazing. He's looking really. Every time I see him oh, on Facebook, I, he looks like he's two percent body fat. That would be amazing. Yeah. I just I figure there was no Mark way I Bell. get you to love the guy. You know that he would. I, I wanted mean, to be on his show. Remember at the Arnold, I said, "When can I be on your show?" Yeah, to, we'll to... message him and make both of them happen. How do you like on Facebook? Sorry, how come I, I, don't, do I, I want people's? I want Ed Cohn's phone number. I, I want to call. Well, people. you had the ability to get that. I'll get it from Gus Rethwich. Well, and, yeah, him maybe or uh, the guy over Jason, Jason Gilliam. Yeah, he yeah. he has his contact info. Okay. I don't know how. This I thought was cool. This was like a TikTok video, but this guy has like um, a core. I don't know. Unless these are kind of like uh, Castleberry weights or something. But this is a four plate. It's a Castleberry weight. Well, this Castleberry cat was known to use fake weights, um, and they just look like those. But I am not taking anything away from this guy because I yeah, I don't we know don't if, know. I don't know if I could do this, but this kind of impressed me. Let's check this out. It's like a four plate negative. Then he sits up with it. What the? Yeah. What the? You, let's watch that again because you got to have a core. Oh, wait, it doesn't finish. That's all he does. Oh, he doesn't press it. No, up. he sits up with it. That was a stupid question. Um, I would rip my abs if I did that. But that but I, even that's cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. I saw that and I was like, Jesus. I, like, I don't even know if I could do it with three. I plates. die. You well, could do it. Well, I mean, obviously, you're strong like, in the abdomen. But like, if even if you dropped it down to like, it looks funny. It looks hard as shit. I think, and I'd I was die. impressed. That's and crazy. I I want to. I don't know what hey, weight I. Can I want to video you doing the steak shake. Can you do it? I don't think so. You'd have to pay me something for it. How much money do you want to do it? How much money would you pay for it? Fifty dollars. Hundred. No, fifty. You got uh, uh, and it's got to be medium rare. Well, you know, I don't even like to eat that. The well, right I'm sorry. Way. Well, it's smothered in a one. No, you're gonna put it put it in water and chug it down. If it's got to be rare. Seventy five medium rare. Okay, well, maybe we'll film that. I'll think about it. I don't. I don't know, I don't if, know I can... if I could do it. I don't like it. You just, saw, I could barely I, watch the video. I you know. You saw me gagging. Yeah. Like, I've... Well, Sumner's a, a, a crazy man. Strong, oh, yeah. as, strong as shit, though. He's a Where are we at? Man. Shit, we're at, at my max effort workout now. What are happened we, on are max we at effort you? night? Yeah, max effort night. Like I said, um, I was not feeling well. No, not COVID. Just like a 
nauseated. I had it for like a day and a half where I couldn't eat and I don't know. So, but you know, you still show up and you do the best you can. And I, I, it doesn't help that I'm eating like a chipmunk and expecting to perform like the Incredible Hulk. But what do you do? Um, as of uh, what Saturday after the water park, I'm gonna I'm gonna get back to regular eating because I'm. Well, don't, you want to eat clean? Stuff. Eat clean, but I need to get my body weight up. That's what I'm saying. Not More a carbs. Lot. I don't think you should be. I dropped higher twenty three hundred. Three hundred. I think that, yeah, I think that's what yeah, but I start getting picked out. on when I get like the three hundred. I got your back. You got my back. Okay, miss muscles. Uh, let's work into max effort. Let's see what we did. Um, the game plan was to touch in shirts, and so everybody brought their shirts. Yada yada yada. But um, I I could have touched, but I did some some different things. As I uh, I didn't go super heavy because I just wasn't feeling it. But let's uh, we'll, we'll walk it through and talk it through. Let's check it out. Okay, so I start off by not pinching my shoulder blades here with 315, and I take it out. It dips down. I knew it was going to be a shit night, but, you know, we got 20 people there benching on three different benches. So Heinz, um, sponsored by Corona Extra. We like beer with a lime and some salt. Um, Heinz wasn't feeling too well either, but I'm making excuses, man. We still tried. That's all you can do. Um, so 315, as you see, and what is this? I knew right here that this felt like uh 600 pounds, and it's like what, Ashley, 375? Is there any, uh, is there I, any blacks on uh, those sides? No, I'm embarrassed. Then it's 374. Don't watch me, like, I just I had didn't have it. All I wanted to do was sit down and just like mm -hmm. I was running to the garbage can waiting to throw up. Oh. I don't know, wasn't feeling too well. I hate that. Yeah, just and I and I'm I'm trying to be. What is this? Four ninety five. Yeah. I'm not trying my red. I'm trying my best. Four man. reds is. Now Heinz has got this little uh, uh Pharrell uh, Widowmaker. What do you want? I don't know what it's called. Anyway, is so, that the? Actual... I don't know. I don't know what it's called. But is it, there one of them that's I, called the Widowmaker? I, so. I thought so. Oh Jesus! But he throws this right in my face. Yeah. Almost knocks me out with it. Mm -hmm. That was like five hundred, whatever. Dan Logman here, he got he brought a couple shirts in. This was a cool lift here because he went two board, one board, and touched. This was impressive. I think it was five uh five ten, five oh five, something like that. You're, you're Dan brought you're Dan brought what I have memorized. Don Dan brought his A game tonight, and so did Eagle Good. right there. These guys had a great workout. Good. And uh this was impressive. They work hard. They, they work hard, it. man. And now he's gonna touch full range. Dan's really got wow. the shirt down, man. He's impressive. Oh wow easy too very easy Smooth. um here i am in this new shirt very and i have it set uh, i wear the cuffs so i know where the sleeves are so they're not at the end and this is only 600 or something but i wanted to see what type of stretch this thing had in it and i realized right there when my hand came over easily that was might have been a good sign but uh looks like it's off on the right side a little bit so not really set not really doing things correctly but i knew uh like okay it came down right there let it hover for a minute. Get a lot of stretch in it, but I'm 20 pounds lighter than I should be. Dan Logman here, intense lifter here at uh, 585. Ashley, is that the with Texas uh, Power Bar there? I think so. Setting the sleeves I, correctly. As... You're you're higher than what I have memorized okay. at this point, but the bar is 55. Yeah, I can tell you that. So I think Dan was going to work up and. Uh, He's got this shirt down, man. He knows he knows his game. Well, I guess if I went 55, because he's sure those reds are, are they 50 or 55? Uh, 55. Here's me with uh, 715. I got the sleeves up a little higher, and I almost touch. So far and I was like, okay, I should have went to eight and kept them there, but I. How many's on there? I don't worry about adding it up. I should have went 800 and touched, but I was running out of gas. I only had 1,000 calories that day, so. I pulled the sleeves to the end of the elbow to see what it would do. And it locked up, which I figured it would, but I knew if I kept them in the same spot, there's no doubt in my mind, 800 would have touched, which is good. So, but I'm impatient and I'm Larry Bush making a comeback. Had some That's PRP awesome. therapy on his rotator cuff. Most weight I've seen Larry handle oh, awesome. in probably 
six months. Larry's coming back strong. Oh, good. Got a dark side. Uh, I love Larry. Pinch band on. Larry, without Larry, there's just, there's no team. I mean, Larry brings yeah, so much intensity I, I, yeah. and support. Larry's an awesome guy, dude. Knowing him, well, yeah, because he hasn't really, but he's been coming in just to help. Just right? to help, yeah. But he's mentioned now. Okay, that's so sad. here, yeah, but that's exciting. I should have went. Uh, I should have kept the sleeves the same, but I got them down at the end of the elbow now, and it, and I just wanted to see what would happen here because I didn't have many lifts in me this night. So this is only like eight hundred or something. Only eight hundred. Yeah, it's only eight hundred, guys. And I just wanted to Most see what would, would happen. Dream of deadlifting it. It's damn near there. It's so only eight hundred. That's nothing. You got to do a thousand. For you, I know, but still, give your eagle here's got a Mark Bell slingshot. Little big, I think. Is it? Yeah, I, I need to bring him some of my slingshots. Video. Eagles uh, came a long way. And this guy shows up and pushes hard, too. Uh, so we moved into dumbbells, heavy dumbbells. We're over on the college rack. That's the rack, 105 to 150. And we were doing four sets of six to eight reps here. Um, I was being pushed because Forrest Jenkins was grabbing weights. And um, I didn't want him to beat me. So what have I got there, Ashley? Uh, I think those are one... 20s i think we go 150s here eventually so Hines, you know he's got the 105s to start out with that's something we've been doing lately is a lot of dumbbell work dumbbell works yeah good for you i try to incorporate a lot of that too and uh let's see dan logman here yeah on the college rack just, you know, basic stuff, you know, dumbbells are important. Trying to raise our bench press and our, our work capacity and our raw bench too. Try to bring it all up. Everything works. Nothing works forever. Got to switch exercises here. Um, I think Forrest goes over and grabs some big weights here. And I'm like, there's no way Forrest <laughs> is going to do more than me. But that's how we push each other. Hey, he didn't even have to say it. He knows what he's doing. He's grabbing those things over there. No, making me, making yep. me. Yeah, and I need that. That's badass. Yeah, that's a good training partner. Yeah, I, he didn't say nothing, but I know what he's thinking. And that's how all those guys. That's are. That's how all they are. Yeah, we all push each other. No animosity or nothing. Just a good, good sportsmanship and right. and and a, a good uh, balance of. Uh, well, he posited them too. Oh, it's showing off. <laughs> and I said, leave him right there. Okay, now we're getting the 150s. Now, Forrest is first up at bat here with 150s. I'm like, okay, buddy. I don't know if he's ever done these before. <laughs> Lean back. Forrest, four, 425 raw bencher. He's going to do a raw meet in uh, November. Is he doing that one? Yes, he is. All three lifts. For sure. Yeah, Forrest cracking nice. out the 150s, man. We're going to build up that raw base for him and get him uh, get his get his raw bench press up. And I think he did five or six reps here. Oh, it's a tough one right there. There you go, brother. Mm. Uh, of course, you know me. You know I've I've done two hundred pound dumbbells before, so this wasn't nothing. But I was feeling like uh, dog poop, but I wasn't gonna let Forrest uh, outshow me there. Mm -hmm. So you know, one fifties, whatever. do those all day uh i believe heinz oh do we get heinz no heinz did pass hey mary mary went 305 pound full range mary. bench in her phenom she I, went what 305 i think Ooh, yeah Mary's kicking girl. Some ass. i decided to use the football bar here and do some incline extensions bringing mary the bar in the bar for everybody absolutely <laughs> i love it now here's another uh instance where i really didn't want to do I was feeling lazy and nauseated, but Heinz was going to, like, push me. And he said he was going to do 225. And I said, you know what? You do it first, then I'll do it. Mm -hmm. Chris Logman there, we're building up some triceps. Okay, here we go. I'm like, all right, Heinz. Like, because uh, he looked at me and he, <clears throat> he's pushing me is what he's doing. Right. I'm like, you try it first, brother. <laughs> I, I felt like drinking a Corona that night. Right between the eyes. I said, bring that bar right between the eyes there. There you go. I was like, okay, if you're going to do it, 
you know, the bench monster's got to do it. And I really don't want to do it. Thank God he did it because it forced me to do it. Yeah, I hit my face that time. Yeah, I actually had to grit my teeth there. But he pushed me, you know, and that's what I need. I need somebody to push me. Forrest? Mm -hmm. He does a modified extension here, kind of a rolling thing. But, you know, as long as you're doing them, I don't give a shit. Just find a way and make it happen. I said, Forrest, you want to bench 500, you got to start stepping it up in all aspects of the uh, accessory work here. Forrest is a phenomenal fucking teammate. I'll tell you that. All, everybody he is. He is. Yeah. Man. Good. He's good. Been such an good. Asset. Positive people. Like him and Dan both. Like they're so positive, and like dependable. Oh yeah. And uh, they just bring a great energy. They do. And you weren't there positive. Tuesday night. So what did we no, do after I, that? I think we did uh, some side delt raises. And and some push down. Always finished with push downs. You know how it works. If, we, if there's a last little bit in the triceps, we like to peter them out with a reverse push down. Do yeah. yeah, you know, it's a, kind of the gist of the workout. It was not my greatest workout, and um, I will be back next week. I think we're doing floor press next week, and then we start the rotation over. Our max effort uh, exercises goes as follows: full range decline. And then we did uh, three board press in the uh, Colossus. I did so I'll have a new record to set there. I did ten twenty five, and then week uh, the next week we'll do the full range like we did tonight. I'll touch this time in, in the black and blue shirt, and then uh, we hit the decline again. And then we figure out uh, we start prepping for the Canelli Classic if it's going to go down. I like to think it's going to go down, but uh, like I said, you got to have that moolah. You gotta have the money first. That'll help your case. Yeah. What are you looking at on your phone? I'm new, deleting. Something? I'm trying to delete okay. so that I have some storage. Well, yeah. you need to get a, a better a better I'm, phone. I need more memory. Like, well, you should ask for I that for your birthday. Like They're only a thousand bucks. Those I, I, uh, iPhone twelves or whatever the hell they are. Yeah. So um. Know, hey, anybody that's watching, you know, uh, send me your videos, man. If you're out there. If you're doing some uh, accessory work of some kind, anything that's unique, different, cool, you send it to me and we we, we put it on the show, man. You know, I sit down and hunt down uh, videos from social media and try to find cool stuff. Yeah. And uh, I appreciate, you know, Kaiser. Uh, a lot of people send me stuff. On Instagram, too, I get private I messages. Get a lot with... of good stuff. There was a really cool one a guy sent me, and I didn't play it tonight, but it was, uh, oh, I don't know if it was from the, well, it was like from the, the Olympics. They have like a ping pong thing going on. Mm -hmm. Probably the most, and I'm not a ping pong specialist, you know, like Forrest Gump or whatever you call it. Yeah. But these two guys were going back and forth. Maybe I'll play it next week. But I was like, I was intrigued because it, it was a uh, we should have like, doing something we different should have played some clips from the olympics like we should have taken what? some gymnastics and well what do you got gosh the I... girl that quit oh well what happened to her we won't talk about that's, it that's i didn't yeah i didn't really mean for you to oh. start bringing it. but but we totally could have played what did they did, we could have was there weightlifting? The weightlifting yeah well, what did they do um like, i i only i follow maddie Ro maddie rogers i know nothing about weightlifting. like snatch clean and jerk what are we doing yeah now? really snatch and clean and jerk no bench press in the Olympics. No, no, no bench press. I remember but back in the day. I, like she's super cool. I I um I saw it. Do you remember? I think it was Rob that told us about this. That uh the the show that they did, um on YouTube where they took uh a, they did it for guys too, but they took um a female bodybuilder, a female power bodybuilder, powerlifter. Uh, weightlifter and a crossfitter. Crossfit and, and the Olympics? A, no, 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 no. This is a show. This oh, is, show. Sorry, I, that, that I'm not talking about the Olympics. It, <laughs> Get your story together. I know. Finish sorry. the story. Okay, I, I'll I'll make it short. So I I discovered this weightlifter because I saw the, this competition. I can't remember what it's called. It was super cool. I I totally recommend um anybody that's into that kind of thing watching it because it had them all compete. It had them all compete. They're they had an event of each. There was a um, a CrossFit event. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm done with my story. Anyways, long story short, I started following Maddie Rogers after that. Is that a man or a woman? It's a Ma Maddie. Okay, okay, I could say I'm be lost. Guy. It's a girl. A girl. Um, I've been I've been watching her journey, um, as she's um, attempted to make it to the Olympics, then made it to the Olympics, okay. and then um, and then I've been watching as she's been preparing for it. And it's just been really awesome to watch her 
make it and then she was look it was looking like she was so prepped and ready and she had really good chances of um getting a gold and then she ended up having the worst day of her life Mm, like couldn't even fact. couldn't even get her openers and it was crazy because well, i watched her just like she was so on and then just she said her anxiety kind of got the best of her and it happens. but i don't know i don't know how many like athletes get to compete like i don't know how many they have in weightlifting like you know how many is it five girls and five guys is it like i don't know how that part works right. so as far as the rest of it i don't know because that i don't know anything well else all i know is back in 19 i know i enjoyed watching her and my heart broke for her because i, I know what it's back in 1997 well, no, i don't know what it's like tiny meeker and myself thought that bench pressing would be in the olympics and we were going to be in the olympics one day and i don't think we'll ever have bench pressing olympics didn't somebody say that we wouldn't even that like they did they want to take the weightlifting all, all all together out of the olympics i heard but i don't know what goes on all i know is the gymnastics thing is a big thing right and soccer and the gymnastics is huge. And whatever, and whatever else a lot of want. people that have never even done gymnastics enjoy watching that. Right. Um, well, you're the gymnastics and person. And I, I know people that were super excited to watch Simone that have probably yeah. never done a day of gymnastics in their life but couldn't wait to watch well, you know, Simone bring it home. Well, should be back, the so Simone was, person? I don't know. Okay. Um, Four more years? I think it would be amazing to see if her that go, go back and give it a shot, and hopefully the next time would play out better for her. Right. Um, well, because she—I mean, she's amazing. Like, yeah, I'll no, we'll give it to her. And that was, and that well, was, shit happens. You that know? was a really big bummer the yeah. way shit went down. And but anyway, I totally got off track there. You did too. I, I don't even know how. I don't, I don't either. That was, that was a great Sorry, story. guys. I don't yeah. usually hey, ramble. Hey, take us bad. over the chat box, Miss Ashley, birthday girl. Oh, we weren't even in the chat box. Where did I? Where was I coming from? I don't know. Oh, because I started. I started talking about how Gymnastics. we should have put some of the Olympics. Yeah. Maybe next week. Maybe, yeah. Maybe I can find some. Cool Doesn't always have to be bench press, uh, squat, or, or deadlift. Could be any, anything. Yeah, anything right. entertaining that uh, anything that, that showcases athletic, that athletic showcases ability, yeah. hard work, and yeah. determination, and, and we're all about it. Hell yeah. And, what okay, you, sorry, you... guys. Sorry, guys. I rambled. Yeah. I try not to do that. Um, let's see. It looks like we started off with Paul Lawfer. Hey, guys. How's it going? Going well, Paul. Going well. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. CJ Morgani. Hey, Bench Monster family. Hope everyone has a good has had a good week so far. Mm. Thank you, CJ. We hope you have too. It's been a pretty good week for you. I, I wasn't what? feeling too well. That's true. You ran yeah. all the nauseous. Monday and Tuesday, but feeling better today, though. That's true. But I, I've had a pretty good week. I can't complain. You're it's always went, strong. Went by what? I said, you're always strong. Oh, strong. Every time you're in the gym, you're strong. Yeah. You think? Oh, yeah. I Thank watch. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Totally I have, doesn't I have ups feel and that downs. way, but it's nice to hear. <laughs> uh, yeah. You're always strong. To, every bench day, you're strong. You're strong. You're stronger even on your worst day no. you're the simone biles of bench pressing is that a good thing it's, well okay maybe <laughs> maybe now and i <laughs> but yeah no it still is it's still well, is. i'm it's trying to keep it all totally together at my old age all right well, when i when i first met you somebody was telling me that you were the michael jordan michael of the... jordan of bench pressing and the tiger woods <laughs> i've heard that one I, too tiger woods yeah what's cool. he up to Oh, that's a really good question. Well, what do you got here, Ashley? Read us some questions here. That's what I was looking for the next one. Um, West Side for Life? Yeah, I saw that. Hmm. Do you know who that nope, is? I'm not a clue. Huh. Okay. Anybody can go on here and, and make make a name up and, yeah. Never seen it before. What's it say? I know. I, I noticed that. Um, West Side for Life. Yo. Yo, I just got done doing a speed bench workout. Very Speaking cool. of which, yeah, tomorrow we, uh, we go back to our... Uh, uh, 9 10 11 12 14 15 sets of three reps so we're gonna 15 15 sets of three sometimes yeah nice. yeah build up our gpp and nine sets of three i thought nine was the magic number. no 10 12 actually uh meatball did a really cool repetition scheme or tens of he did tens. uh what did he do he did eight he did a set of uh, eight reps we were doing speed work last week and he did eights one set of eight, one set of ten, one set of twelve, one set of fourteen, and it was just a different variation than uh, yeah. than uh, we were doing six. We were doing six by six, I believe, so or five by five. So we'll get back to the uh, 
the the 40 per, 45 percent range and 25 percent band tension and we'll get our speed bench uh back kicking here and uh see what happens and video it actually so i yep, forget gotta the camera remember it tomorrow. i noticed that and yeah. i was like i wonder if he just no, I'm just thought gonna, it wasn't like, going to be a good I'm thinking like, about shit can on the speed bench because i mean who wants to see that anymore it's kind of the same i don't know you guys enjoy seeing the speed bench don't you maybe they don't correct me if i'm wrong i mean if you'd prefer I don't know. just to stick to max effort feel free to chime in chime in here on that your, it's your show too guys uh, i mean chat so, box yeah but i think i think a lot i i mean i've i've heard of them because even when well, you've mentioned cutting parts of it out i've heard people say no i don't think anybody i think they might. want to see a back workout i, uh, mary I did see mary that. yeah, yeah. I, uh, I was peeking that occurs on saturday and i i train it like a bodybuilder you know a lot of high repetitions a lot of different uh exercises <laughs> rotating probably 15 different types of back exercises been over rows wide close grip uh i've actually been doing these yeah, numbers too with the dumbbells our, oh not this saturday because we'll be gone but next saturday i'll try bring to the camera in. remember yeah let's let's bring it in and because you know you got to have a, get some of my deadlift you did lift on saturday mm -hmm. well that's win-win you have a lot of video and then you can shoot it with my camera so you don't have the you can, you can get the shot or whatever you doing. want yeah since you don't like my i don't like your phone angles and my uh tiny meeker do the best i can okay. sir tiny meeker it's sir tiny meeker good to see you tiny tiny um give each other a big strong powerful hug hello to both to you both stay strong hope to see you both soon yeah we totally need to we totally need to come visit sometime tiny i'd love to come down yeah, before they shut down to the where you're at <laughs> oh don't even say that um yeah. have a great show we don't do hugs we thank do you tiny here's a strong we do hugs huh? we do hugs air hug covid <laughs> Just joking. I don't know what that was about. That was weird. We'll give you a strong hug. Strong hug. Strong hug. <laughs> hey, that hurt. Ouch. You pulled my neck out. And you pulled mine too. Well, that's how we do it. Strong and mine's hug. are even sore. All right, Mary. What's Mary saying? We failed that one. Hey, we did good. Thank you, Tiny. It's very good to see you. It's always nice having you here. Um, Mary. Mary's in the house. Oh, so many cool people in the house tonight. I'm loving yeah. it um mary look at that pretty look at that pretty birthday girl and that wavy hair thank you mary i appreciate it wavy. and thank you for the wishes yesterday thank you to anybody and everybody that um sent me birthday wishes yesterday i really appreciate it i started doing my, my thank you on facebook but i didn't quite get it finished right you gotta remind me to finish doing finish it. but yeah I, I, there's a bunch of people on here that wished me happy birthday yesterday so thank you guys very much what are you gonna do now that you're 21 and thank you mary <laughs> <laughs> oh well i'm gonna i'm looking forward to going to a bar for the very first time i'm gonna get you drunk take advantage of you okay next question <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a plan <laughs> tiny meeker um, oh we're right yeah okay. maybe a little purple hearts that mary my eyes are the the white is i'm having a hard time with it well it happens when we get old our eyesight goes bad mine's been bad for I years but not my clothes sometimes but what do you do? Oh, I'm probably gonna have to at some point soon. Tiny. Tiny Meeker. Funny. I did pull big last week. 675 trap bar, then 585, 495, 405, and then 10 sets of 10. Holy crap. 315. With 315. So where's your deadlift session? Well, this is his deadlift session. Tiny, how often do you do those trap bar deadlifts? Is that like a weekly thing, bi weekly? It's probably at curious. least weekly. He's really it? good at it. Yeah. And then I can't remember. Do you, do you squat? To, do you squat as well, Tiny? I've seen him in a canvas. I know we in, asked in, that during our interview, but I'm suddenly. I've seen him in an insert uh, canvas squat suit sometimes. Tiny does it all. Yeah, that's badass. That's badass. And he can bench a shit pot, too. Looking forward to seeing your next squat and deadlift session. <sighs> Nobody wants to see that. All right, Tiny's got another another, another oh. question here or something. Yes, finally feeling better. Hope to share new stuff soon. Oh, good. Excellent. Excellent. That'd be see great. some Tiny, tiny Meeker yeah. videos on here. Yeah, that'd be great. I was just thinking we'd like to... I mean, we definitely want your bench stuff, but it'd be nice if hey, you threw in some deadlifts yeah, and squat stuff I'm gonna, that we can I'm rub in his show. face. Yeah, nope, definitely, a... definitely share with us. 
Um, whatever you got, we'd love to see it. Love to post it. CJ Morgani, I saw on Masonomics. Blaine say the steak ones are gross. Yeah. I can't imagine. Um, the chicken ones are like his main food. He has like five a day. Well, maybe Holy. well if they're tasty. I mean, if you, if you make he them right. He drinks five of the not well not the steak yeah. but the chicken. Chicken. He does that five times. a I day. I heard. Yeah, I wonder if the ingredients uh are because they're obviously tasty. Wild. If you can do five of them a day. I don't think they're necessarily tasty. That doesn't mean they're tasty just because he does it. Oh, I'm just trying to pretend that they are Ugh. because I I just can't that's imagine. That's hardcore. Yeah, that's hardcore. Hats well, I guess you, you, sir. I guess you don't have to like chew it. I guess you just drink it. No, I mean, like that's, it, like that's why I like like I like to have egg whites and oatmeal for breakfast. Right, you just throw and it all so in the blender. I throw, I throw it in the blender, yeah. and I let you know it's more convenient. But I don't, I can't imagine doing that with meat. That grosses me out a little. Kind of grosses me out too. But to each their own. For for efficiency, I totally can appreciate that. Logman, Dan you know, Logman. Then when you're at work, you can't go cook chicken or right, you know. I can. But you can go blend it up in a. Oh, yeah, you can. Where yeah. you work? Some cilantro, some salsa, and some water. I guess. Kind of weird. Logman. Logman, Dan, Dan in the house. Big Chris. Oh, 15. I told you I knew he was younger than 18. So that's like I thought he was closer to 16, but 15. Jeez Louise. You know what? When I was 15. So many good. You know what my bench was? Like 135, maybe? Yeah, for one rep. And it took everything in in God's green earth to get it up. See? Yeah, it was a grinder. That's funny. Chris is going to go big. Yeah, and he's he's going big quickly. And I'm I'm excited for him. He's got a lot of heart. And uh, yeah, I mean, just. Yeah, he, great start. Phenomenal man. technique. He's a good listener. 15. And yeah, he's like a sponge. You know, he's phenomenal got, kid to have on the crew. Yeah, definitely an he asset. Fits, fits right in. And uh, both of you guys are yeah. a huge asset. Great, bring great energy, help out with stuff. That's awesome. I know, that's crazy that he's 15. I knew that he was younger than you were thinking he was. He's but. a big kid, too. I mean, when I was 15, I was. I got my uh, my driver's permit still, and it's I'm one. Do you really? Five nine, five nine, 140. What are you gonna do Holy with that? Crap, I'm a That's a great player. soccer player, though. That's crazy. I was. Mary. Yeah, everybody has their strengths and weaknesses. I was a late bloomer. Are you sure that's her? Huh? Mary asked you right here. You skipped. Oh. You skipped uh, this ain't my world. You, I'm, you go. I don't belong in the chat box. Evan Monster One. Nice, clear video broadcast. Video and audio are very crystal clear. Excellent. Well, it's like I said, nice we got to a, have that feedback. We got a new modem and a Costco router, and we seem to be operating better now. I don't, I don't, have, to go, I don't have to go to Spectrum and threaten them anymore. Oh yeah. So I was getting pissed. A couple weeks frustrated. of pretty high stress. Yeah. <laughs> We're, We're broadcasting a lot better the show now. And how our internet was working. Let's see where am I at here? Mary, ask you. Okay, thank you. Mary Askew, I hope you talk more about your back workout and the importance of it. I've been trying to explain to power lifters the importance of a strong back and big lats for a big bench. They'll listen to you. Man, who's not listening to that? They're well, so important. Yeah. I mean, think about, like, for all three lifts, like, not even just... Well, especially the upper back. I mean, all of my cues revolve around, sweet, you know, locking in the lats and... Yeah. Yeah, no, that's huge. Yeah, big back, big bench. Oh, totally. So. Well, and it was Julius Maddox Julius that Maddox. told us for every one pressing movement he does, four. he does four pulling movement yeah for his back for, for his back yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. For his up, and if, back, if you don't listen back. if you don't listen to that type of advice then you're just not gonna go anywhere so i mean yeah no we totally need to in my back bring your video on i will better. my back workouts i mean it's like i said i was training a bodybuilder man high yeah. reps and we uh, do a set like show a, yeah. a set of each exercise and, and how i do them i'll bring it in, i'll bring the video in on a saturday and we'll yeah, do a little back workout totally would. I don't... can't do it this Saturday because we're going to be in Silverwood. We're super excited. And I do. Um, but sorry. I do trap bar deadlifts too for uh, for uh, on my back day. So not 675 though, but you know, four, four plates or something. The volume. All right. So we're going to do that at... next Saturday when we get back. Yeah, we get back. Don't look at me like that. 
Paul Offler has some question there. Gosh. Paul Offler, I'm dropping down to 220 for my next and going to bench over 700 in the Dark Atlas. Dark Side Atlas. Nice. Absolutely. Oh, sorry. What did I say? Dark Side Atlas. Dark Side Atlas. That's awesome. Uh, That's very cool, so that would be the vibe. That would be the V2, the green. Yeah. I see, I see he benches in that quite often. That's a great shirt. Actually, you're going to see me break out the uh, Colossus uh, Viper 3 shirt, the orange one. So I've done some modifications to it. I had to add some uh, some material inside of the sleeve to uh, to uh, tighten it up a little bit. But uh, it's going to be working awesome, and I will be wearing that in probably next video of Max Effort. Mary Askew. Mary Askew. And... Mm -hmm. See it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And thanks again for the excellent coaching, camaraderie, and team atmosphere you all bring every Tuesday. You're welcome, Mary. Mary shows up I and kicks some, kick some ass. Guys. Yeah, she wants you there on a Tuesday night. I want to be there. Yeah. I, you can bench with her on the on the bench. I have to coach. That's my the night where I coach from four to nine. I know it's a busy night for you. I know. That one time I got to come because our our air conditioning stopped up. working at gymnastics, and so we had to send everybody home early. So I got to sneak over to the gym. I was like, I'm gonna go see Mary. So Nathan Brandon Horn. I wish I could come every week. You gotta come on like a Saturday sometime, Mary. Like, or we can go down and visit her. We we're talking about like a road yeah, trip down we to could her totally gym. Totally do that. Yeah. We Pines and I were talking about it. Yeah. No. Yeah. Jetting down to Malibu. But I said we got. I would be so down for that. Wait till it cools down a little bit too. I mean. Uh, they don't have an air conditioner. No. It's a little warm in there. But yeah, no, I'd be totally down for that. Oh yeah. Road trip. That's what we had. Road trip. Okay. Nate and B. We got Nathan Brandhorse in the house. How sad are you going to be when I weigh more than you? Happy birthday, Ashley. Thank you, Nathan. I appreciate Most it. Most impressive thing it's I good saw. Good to have you here. Good to see your name. Tuesday night, Nathan Brandon Horse stood on the scale and it said 290. No. I was impressed. Most impressive thing I've seen. Yeah, he's coming up in weight. That's awesome. Well, I, I think Nate's doing uh, that Robbie in November. Shit. Are you in, doing that? In Vancouver. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I think Nate. Uh, you're going to hit over 300. Is he go 308 or what, super heavy? Or is that what you're trying to do, Nate? Is um, go to 308, the 308 weight class? Super heavy. That's an all time high, right? I hope he's got a CPAP machine working. Ooh, yeah, you're still using a CPAP right well, now. Well, the one, I think the one I gave him crapped out, but I think he got another Was one. Was he able to get another You got to have one when you start getting up in that kind of weight. Does he, could he get a prescription for one? We can get him one. I have a script. Oh, yeah, you got to make sure. I can order him one. Yeah, make sure you got a CPAP. It may be against the law, but mm, it's just a machine that blows air in your nose. I don't see why you need a script that. That is so silly, but you need... Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of silly things on this earth I don't agree with. Bruce Mason! Thanks yeah. again, Nate. It's good to see your name in the chat box. Always nice having you here. Um, Bruce Mason. Evening, guys and girls. Hi, Bruce. Big Good Bruce. to see you also. Bruce is a badass. Glad you can make it. He is. Badass lifter, man. Definitely. You gotta have him on as a guest. We got Bruce. some awesome lifters you wouldn't mind. on this, yeah. this chat I'd box. I like to right? see how Bruce trains and uh, yeah, pick his brain a little awesome. bit. Yeah, that Set that up. Yeah. If you're listening, Bruce, might be bugging you to be a guest if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, we got it. Shall we do... We should do him. We should have Nate on. We have several people. We'll get Nate on Nate Brandon Horse on here after he get, does his Rob There's several people we yeah. should have. We get Mary on here. Get Mary Askew on here. Yeah. Can. We can do whatever you want to do. Any of any anybody. All right. Um, let's see. T. T Pressifer. Started. Oh, I cannot see this you read it? very well. Can Started read it? rotating in more BB extensions to forehead chin bench is already progressing again oh good yeah That's barbell awesome. extensions of the forehead chin yeah or uh there's two a lot of different places you can take it chin nose forehead some people even go behind the head too so there's all, all different angles you can do puts a lot of strain right here but that's where you need it that's that thickness right here mm, right. that louis says that's your bench press roger brome Roger Brome. Hey guys. Thanks for the feature. It is a single ply evil twin. I was working on touching with lighter weight for technique. I did 385 with it, but I have done 
four forty five a bit ago. Well, I gotta say, man, nice. Titan, Titan makes probably the best. Yeah, that was single ply awesome. shirts, and uh, they're out there. Super solid. Hey, Jimmy Cole, man. Roger Brome. Oh, getting confidence again after some shoulder awesome, problems. Roger. Good. I'm yep. glad you're coming back and starting to feel good again. It's super. Super frustrating to have those, well, any kind of problems, but shoulder problems are super naggy, especially. I mean, for for all, you know, because that's something that hurts your, oh, yeah. usually hurts during the squat. Sometimes doesn't feel good during the deadlift. And then obviously for bench, it's a nightmare. So glad you're feeling better. Um, Let's see here. Tiny, Tiny Meeker. Meeker. His, uh, trap bar pulls. Read that one. All right. Once a month, I pull. I do extremely heavy belt squat, belt squats and leg presses leg the press. other weeks. Oh. So, so sounds like he goes really heavy on belt squat once a month and then on leg press or on all the other weeks does leg press, right? right? I only squat the cambered and the safety squat bar Bench, legs, and back only one day a week. Hmm. Okay. I, we knew that because we interviewed Tiny, but, you know, it's just good. I to... know. So I was like, I know I've asked you these questions before, but I was yeah. trying to blank on what the... Like the, the I like to keep was. updated what's really going on. <laughs> Tiny. Helps you stay motivated, yeah. right? <laughs> Trap bar, 675. I think, he, I think he's pulled like 800 or something, too. Probably. Yeah. My, what's my best? Trap bar. Trap what did bar. I do? Trap bar, I don't know. Did I do 700? Probably. No. Yeah, Ryan, we're trying to go pretty heavy a couple What's times. your nose? I don't know. You're getting it all red. You're rubbing it, see? I know. You're I, do Rudolph. Time to try. I know. <laughs> Rudolph's red nose. Okay. Thank you for pointing it out. Well, I, I just saw it. it. You're welcome. Uh, okay. Thank you, Carrie. Carrie? Oh, Remember your friend that, Car- yeah. that chick? Yeah. That... You're a troll. Yeah. Well, well, maybe we'll have her popping in soon. Well, we, we miss her. All right. <laughs> Showbit Jane. All right. Showbit Jane. How's it going, Bench Monster family? Hope everyone is enjoying their evenings. Thursday. Happy birthday, Ashley. Thank you. Good to have you here. Um, we are enjoying our evening. We hope you're enjoying yours also. Bruce Mason has a question. Bruce Mason, name the date, and we will oh, have cool. some fun. Awesome. There you go. Yeah. There you go. It'd be fun to have Bruce on. Pick his brain. Three lift lifter. And uh, oh, yeah, it would be very how he trains, when he trains. Some big numbers. What's his diet look like? Yeah. What type of music does he listen to what when he works like out? In high I mean, how strong are we in high know, school? Yeah, you know our questions. A lot of our general questions. Yeah. You know, we we ch- change, tweak a few things to personalize it for each yeah. guest. But I mean, a lot of the questions that we, you know, the things that we want to know are kind of similar for each yeah. person so you, you kind of have some how standard. often does he go heavy in his squat so does he box squat uh a reverse band i mean I, I got questions oh yeah yeah totally anthony caruso we'll make it we'll make it happen we just got to figure out which yeah which day we want to do usually i contact people on over the weekend and ask them if they're interested and then i just need a little bio from people so i can say my next guest and that's where your bio comes in yeah, you so send kind me. of be thinking what you might want Lifting out of a so-and-so, your state, your records, your accolades, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show, Bruce Mason. You know how it's done. Yep. You've, you've seen it a time or two, yeah. huh? <laughs> nope. That'll be awesome. We'll, um, Ask him the, uh, since he's the, the date. originator of the uh, Mount Rushmore question. So. Oh, that's yeah. right. That's gonna be so a, that's that would be definitely a, uh, that's come gonna be a up question for, for sure, all our guests. Because that was an awesome, yep. That'll probably be one that we just add to our stand, yeah. you know, standardized questions. Because um, I think it's a really fascinating question. It's really cool yeah, to it, hear. It's really cool. Yeah. It gets you thinking pretty pretty deep. But. Anthony Caruso has a question here. Anthony Caruso. Any favorite back exercises? That's a good question. For you, when do you do back? When do I do back? You do like lat pull down? Okay. Uh, favorite ones for me, I seal rows. I mean, the only reason I say that because I, I watched uh, Julius uh, when he was up and coming, and he did a lot of, uh, you know, seal rows. And we don't, ha- uh, we don't have an a- actual machine in our gym to no, do that. No, unfortunately, but, uh, we don't. Yeah. I improvise and do other things. I like them all. 
I just, I, there's not one particular. I really row. like I really like bent over rows, but you know having a bad back. Row. Yeah, yeah. I'll, That's I'll, a good I'll, one too. Anything and everything because they all work. It's just a matter of uh, rotating them and not doing the same thing over and over and over. It's kind of like the. Uh, um, what is everything other one? works, but nothing. Yeah, works well, we, we don't have like a ton of T bar rows are really good. We don't have a T bar. We don't have a T bar row in our gym yet. We don't have like a specific one, but we've got a um, landmine. Landmine. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Apparatus. I don't know what you call it. So you can totally. And Saturday's my favorite day to train too. It should be bench day, but yeah, what, what do you do? Um, I, I I don't have one particular back exercise I like. I just. Oh, my uh, favorite. Uh, I can't pick one. I just I just do them all. I've really been liking the uh, dumbbell one lately. Been doing those with some heavy weight, and uh, it gives me the uh, inflated lat syndrome. When you stand up, you walk around like you're. I like doing that for a warm up for bench. This one. I started. You had me do that one day. Yeah. That day that I hit 190, you had me. I remember why you were telling. You were like giving. Well, here's something really it. weird. One day, Heinz and myself were doing trap bar deadlifts, and and. We said, uh, you know, let's walk over and bench uh, like 405 cold. And after doing trap bar deadlifts, you know, our lats were pretty pumped up the way we were, we were doing right. the uh, trap bar. We went over and both of us whacked out 405 cold after just doing trap bar deadlifts. So, I don't know. I don't know. That, yeah. I don't think it's, you know, that's smart to do that, but we do crazy shit <laughs> in the gym cool. sometimes. You know. I'll give you that. Just be careful. Always trying to have fun. Right. Uh, Just trying to get better. Show bit. That's the question. Um, Ryan, do you do rotator cuff work? I have heard mixed opinions. You know, I used to have a shoulder horn at one time, and I don't know what happened to it. It was a it was a rinky dink one, and I think it bent. But uh, Mike Lupacek uh, showed us a really cool exercise. Basically, you know, ten of these, and then you straighten your arms out. Boom, just knocked you out. And do and 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 doing the paint can thing like this. We do like those are kind of fun. Those really yeah, and, those paint cans are cool. I, yeah, so basically you're just doing these, awesome. you know, and then the paint can pour the paint out and uh, do those uh, off and on. Don't do a whole lot of show, uh, rotator cuff work. To be honest with you, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. For warm up. Do they even still make those shoulder horns that you put? You know, they do these. I don't know where. I think it's in my other house up up north. I don't know. I think yours is the only one. I probably left that at the gym back in the day. I don't know where that's at. Yeah, I haven't yeah, seen it in it, years. It, it, I told you, it's red, right? No, it's gray, and it's got foam on it, and it, I don't know where it's at. I got it from Powerlifting Superstore, oh, West Camp. Is that red? I was picturing a red one. Maybe it was. Is there I don't something remember. that was red? That was... I got so much stuff up there in the other house. I don't... <laughs> We gotta have a we gotta have a bench shirt giveaway. I, I got so many freaking shirts you, up there. You should um, bring them back and go through them. I really need to because they're just sitting there collecting dust. If somebody wants and them, see if there's you know just kind of go through it and be like, okay, that's for Bob. That one looks like it would fit George. That one, and then who wants the who who wants the Terminator? That's that's the one top secret one. I'm sitting at the tiny. Let him look at there it. You go. You know. Uh, where are we at, Miss Ashley? Um... Lou. Lou Lou Sassel. Yeah. How's everyone doing tonight? Doing pretty good. We're good, Lou. Thank I, you for joining us. I'm feeling to say well. Yeah, I, I'm doing are you, good. Are you feeling yeah. better? Yeah. I had some. I had some. Or, I had some Oreos today. They had some Oreos at work. Like oh a, really? Oh, I ate half a pack. Yeah. Like I, I just said, half it. I'm tired of this dieting thing and this whole water park trying to look good with my shirt off. You know. You should it, still try to eat yeah. afterwards, though, for your health. Yeah, but I'm starving. You just got. I want more carbs. Yeah, you can eat a little I'm flat more, as a pancake. But just choose your carbs wisely. Uh, all right. Choose wisely. Choose wisely. All right, T. What you got? T. Pressifer. I have a video of myself doing 300. 390. Sorry, I knew I was seeing that wrong. Doing 390 seated overhead press. From dead stop at the awesome. chin level. Wow. I'll find it and send it. All right, T, you got my yeah. email right here. It's pretty simple. Bench Monster Gmail. Please send me videos. I like to I like to I like to see that for one and, uh, and post it up. I did deadlift yesterday and you're hey, one, overhead pressing it. One rep Max is joining us real quick. One rep Max. How's it going, buddy? It's good to see you. You might be at work. So hey, guys. How was your week? Yep. We don't want you to get in trouble, but it's so good to see you. Um, our week was good. My birthday was 
yesterday so that was really fun and and it's not over i get to have my like real party on sunday yeah um, are we having traditionally, cake yeah, oh yeah what kind I, ha- I don't think i just did i decide yesterday ice cream cake i gotta figure out what kind i want but traditionally we always have a birthday party uh at all of my, every member of my family we celebrate our birthday um we may do other you know other things but we always celebrate it at my grandma's house um with everybody in the family that can make it um, and they give me presents, and we eat cake and ice cream. I'm down for that. It's a great time. I'm excited yeah. for this weekend. Saturday, I get to go to Silverwood. Wood? I said that wrong. Theme Silver park. Wood. Get theme park and water park. And Sunday, I get to have a birthday party. Well, you're going to make out like a bandit. I'm excited for the weekend. When's my birthday? March. Uh, you had a little ways to go, buddy. Well, how old, how old will I be then? 87. Shut up. <laughs> 87. You're getting close to 50, but brother. Hey, <laughs> uh, I'm doing the best I can. Because will it be 49? I don't want to talk about it. These damn I was birthdays just kept coming to around. Somebody about it, and I couldn't remember if we were 47 or 48. I I'm 30. Parted. You're 48, right? Shut up. Read the questions. <laughs> Stop telling me to shut up, Steve. Uh, well, okay. Jesus. I apologize. I've been bad. Yeah. It will not happen You've again. Been rude, certainly. Well, I had a rough week. Oh, jeez. Glenn Yoklin. Ryan, I'll take one of your old shirts. Not picky. Ashley, happy belated birthday. Thank you, Glenn. I appreciate it. Yeah, we got to stop by the house up there. And yeah, um, yeah cause I, I'll just give them away. I mean, I, I don't care. I mean, I'll sign them or whatever. But um, there's a lot of history behind a lot of them. I, I got so many up there. Denims. Got some Titan ones that I blacked out the logo so Enzer wouldn't know. But I got I got some crazy. Oh, stuff. I know you got tons yeah, of stuff. Just... I mean, I know you've given away a lot over the years, but you yeah. should still have quite a few. Oh, I do probably. Yeah, I think I got a Karen Klein denim. I remember seeing a lot of lot of old school Enzer denims. I mean, yeah, I don't know. You know, if you're three hundred, if you're two ninety five to, I think what will my. I don't, yeah, 295 only the 305, bigger, yeah. Only the bigger guys the big will benefit. Yeah. But, well, we'll go yeah. down there and see what he's got and see what we can. When are we going to go? I don't know. We need to go down and see your mom. And yeah, I got to see mom there. anyway. Yeah. I got to call them and thank them for the That's birthday right, card because I got that today. So, all right. I do need to do One rep. That. One rep, Max. Thank you so much, guys. I'm going through some stuff right now. So, that greeting really helped. Oh, nice. Happy birthday. I'm yeah. sorry to hear that you're going through some stuff. I uh, hope, hope things get better there. But, yeah, it's always always great to see you and good to have you here. Yeah, one rep. Was, figured you figured you were working since we weren't seeing your name popping up. So I figured, yeah, had to, had to get to work. But great to see you. Glad you were able to pop in here. Oh, yeah. Uh, I like to go train with one rep. He's, yeah. he's like an intense dude. Yeah. yeah, I bet he'd be great to train with. Lots of energy and definitely, definitely. Um, one rep. Oh. He, he's asking another question. Oh, geez. I'm sorry. I was going to skip. Okay. Yeah, you want me to skip you? One rep, Max. Dude, if I get one of your shirts, I will frame it and hang it on the wall. <laughs> I'm, yeah. Well, we can totally. I was going to say, I don't know if he'll have. Um, any that'll fit you great, but we could totally give you one for a souvenir, have yeah. him sign it and send it to you. It just makes me think back to like when I wore them. Cause you know, there was the denim phase. That was what? 90. When was I wearing? Well, I was five, around then. dude. I was five. Five? Wow. In, in 90. No, what? I'm not 90. Like 90. You said 90. I wasn't done. 90 something. Well, yeah. Six. What? 97. I started. Yeah, I 98. Seven. I was in a denim. 99 denim. 2000 denim. One, two, denim, and then the Rage X came out. So then that's, I got to, yeah. So I wonder if I have the original. No, I don't think I have the original 800 shirt. I might, though. You don't think you say that? Dude, I, I, I tell you, man. I, know I, you I got, got a, a, time, a three foot pile, like eight feet long. I think there's certain one for somebody that like gets so many free I'll have to ones, clean them off, though. There's a lot of dust and cat hair on them. The you want to help me vacuum them and clean them up a little bit? And, yeah, we can clean them up. Yeah, give them to the fans. Uh, a barrel idea. proof barbell. People would love that. Idea. In for a Titan shirt. What's he mean? In for a Titan shirt. You want my Titan shirt? I think that's what that means. Okay. Do you do you have Titan? I got two of them. I blacked do them you? out with black oh, paint. Wow. Yeah, I actually oh. did. Um, you only have two. Yeah, Titan sent me two okay. shirts, and I did uh, eight forty eight in them, and at the uh, 
bench oh, really? for bench for cash in 2005. Yeah, I know exactly what oh, I did. Oh wow! That was also the pick like, where you used Titan that far back. It was the pick where uh, we oh. had me with Clay Brandenburg and. Um, yeah, we all have our shirts off and we look like the defensive line oh, yeah, powerlifting. Really yeah, I see, it's right with there. With tiny. No, tiny's not in it. We all had our shirts oh, off and we got our boilers sticking out. It was really cool. There's one with you and tiny and two other guys that kind of sounds like that. But okay, well, this one is the infamous. I'm thinking of the wrong one. Yeah, Chippendale's pick. I can't. It's right I here. I know I've seen. Yeah. It. Where? I don't know if I can click on it. It'll probably block out everything. But it's, it's me, Clay Brandenburg. Um, um who's uh oh and tiny sean Lattimore. yeah down here tiny's not in that tiny's not in there no okay howard weingarten reverse hyper rows and chest supported chest rows they work well and not bad on the lower back yeah those yeah. are good ones definitely um also howard weingarten also i'll take a shirt anytime and love it to be signed <laughs> Count yeah, on we're it. gonna go see. We're yeah. gonna go see what he's got at some at some point. I don't know. Yeah, we can't this I, weekend. But I'm not doing anything with them. And if somebody like would like to have several weeks, I don't know how we'll do shipping on them and all that. We'll figure that out. Yeah, that'll be the tricky part. But we'll figure something out. We got so many. That, I mean, they might as well go to fans that yeah, I appreciate know, it. loyally watch the show each week. Yeah, and well, we'll, we'll have to hold it up right here and I'll it. sign it right here and yeah, just show that I uh, proof the signature. <laughs> barrel proof barbell which oh bar barrel proof bar barbell i'm sponsored by titan i'll have i think that's what a surprise say i'll have one i'd have one yeah or i'd like one okay okay should you we should you write down names so you can kind of remember how many i gotta see what i got i gotta do an inventory i know, well, I know but yeah. that, it would help to know like Cause I don't know what I don't know what I got, no, and I need I need to figure it out when I get up there. All right, continue All right. on. Okay, never mind. Uh, barrel proof barbell. When you had, when you had the best burns in the game. I think there's a typo there. Typo there, and then are the, you catching what that means? No, and then the next one he says. Oh, okay. When you. Okay. When Confusing. you loved the best. I can't quite make out what that was supposed to be. Yeah. I know that there was a typo. Love one, he says. When, yeah, but where does that go? I when, don't know. When you love one the best. Yeah, I don't know. Burns in the game. Well, say love Not lovey. quite sure. Correct. Okay, we but will. Feel free to correct me on yeah. that one. Um, so. Looks like that one was our last. Guest next week? Should we... I don't know. Is there going to. Uh, Sunday I can get on my phone. Yeah, and... has to get them. Okay. Maybe we'll, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll do that. Are you going to have time to arrange that? I just get on my phone and I go to Facebook Messenger and I say, hey, would you want to be a guest? And I just text people. And they, and they do it or they don't do it. So and You're going to do Bruce Mason then? Possibly. We'll see. Okay. Sunday. Your, it's your birthday, so maybe during your birthday I'll sit and text while we're singing happy birthday and I'm chowing down on some cake. Excellent. Getting my body weight back up. You know, figure it out. Hey. Being antisocial. And... I'm not antisocial. Oh, okay, here we go. I love a shirt, and that was back when you had the best sideburn. Oh. Uh, I was going to bring those back recently. Actually, I figured he was, had to do something with the chops or your facial. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to get some um, color, though. I, got, I gotcha. Yeah, a little, it's not really dark anymore like it used to be. It's we a might diet. There's salt and pepper shit going on here. I don't know you why that's happening. You might want to diet if you want. Diet? Diet. Yeah, what diet. color? Diet. Brown or black or like sweet burns? Whatever, whatever you think your actual... I don't know. Is it black or dark brown? I don't know. It used to be dark brown. It's hard to but tell then, these days. Then Father Time sets in, and, and what do you do? But then I don't know if you want to have like gray in your regular hair and the chops that have that are all black. Well, I, I got I got to do the chop and the goatee. Because then it'd be obvious that you dyed this, but haven't dyed there. Well, I don't have any hair up there anymore, so I it's know. all falling out. I know. What do you do? DHT this... got me. Yeah, it took me out. What did? DHT. High levels of DHT it makes your hair fall out. What's that? Um, we well take testosterone, oh. it converts, and you know, so and age and all that good stuff. Okay. What do you do, man? I'm not 27 no more, mm. but I'll still try to look the best I can. Try to grow the chops back. Still take care of yourself. Yeah, and eat healthy, all that good stuff. What about a beard? No, no beard. Um, do you imagine? Well, again, you like, run into like the Santa same Claus? problem. Do you dye it or do you want a? a, a 
I just don't. If you get have it. a gray beard, you're aging yourself. I mean, gray, I feel yeah. like you're aging yourself. I look like an old man with a beard. Like I don't, don't want to be. I've an old never man. seen you with a beard. I've never grown a beard my whole life. life. Oh, you never had one. Never. Like Ryan okay, Hines has a, Ryan Hines chops. has one, and who's the guy on The Price Is Right? Uh, what? Drew Carey. Drew Carey has a beard. Yep. I guess the beard thing. Mm -hmm. They got popular when No Shave November got. Yeah, that was got like popular years ago. years ago. Yeah, I don't know if like I, I can't. I, can't pull kinda, off I think the beard. a lot of people are like, you know, did it for the chops and a goatee. Yeah, but I can't. I can't do the beard thing. The itches and you got to get like oils and. Shit. I wouldn't want. Yeah, okay. I wouldn't want hair on my face. Wouldn't, no, I wouldn't look sexy with a beard. Oh, you'd look sexy however you wore like your like Santa Claus or something. Yeah, you'd, I mean, you'd look good at whatever you did with your. Okay, facial hair. I'll try. We'll see what happens. But I think you'd be uncomfortable. Yeah, itch, food, especially during the heat. You really want something well, extra on your face you know, in the winter and then you got your mask over your beard oh, you gotta wear a mask yeah you and you get food to in it too and, and birds start nesting in it and shit so i don't know, I don't know about that yeah okay Unless cj you're getting in here cj morgani i gotta go buy a swimsuit i know you've been interested in spoto brandon allen sold his gym to spoto and someone else called what? sin city barbell now you can probably reach him oh, there. Shit. Ooh, Vegas, huh? That's I'm assuming. Cool. Yeah. Spoto. That's huh. awesome. I'll, I'll, I'll text Stan Efferdeen and get Spoto's number. I mean, yeah. You yeah. Should. And uh, I don't know. I know Spoto's a night owl. So Is he? I don't think he would mind doing a show at 7 and 8 at night or whatever. So, yeah. Perfect. Tristan Breen, what up? Right. Bench Monster. Yeah, good to have you, Tristan. Thanks yeah. for joining us. It's Looks like that's the bloody the bloody face pick, man. Oh, that's right, that is him. Oh yeah, that's super cool. That is fucking badass, <laughs> man. When I saw that, I was like, mm -hmm, "That's how you do mm -hmm. it." That was a good one. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody's that. No, that's a, that's hardcore. Yours, yeah, yeah. yeah you, no blood, no lift, man. <laughs> yeah, right on, dude. Very cool. Good seeing you. Well, hey, we'll uh, we'll do it again next week. You know, yep, and uh, we'll bring a show and maybe a guest. We'll see. And yep, we'll, uh, we'll announce it. Yeah. Um, now that we have good internet and stuff, you know, if, we, uh, we're gonna have one. Yeah. Now we now we can actually like yeah. have one without worrying that their shit their episode's gonna get ruined because yeah. our internet won't work. And we do quite well. We have a little dip here and there, but you know, it stays around five thousand kilobytes per second. Yeah, so that's good. That's how we're streaming out here at ten eighty p. So thank God it's finally working. The stress is off my show. I don't have to like gargle down That's Xanax right. every no. every night now, worrying if the show's gonna work or not. That's so thank God. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen and Bench Monster family, it's been a pleasure. Yes, and, we always uh, appreciate. Look you forward to seeing you next joining week. Joining us, unless I drowned at the water park, uh, we will we'll be back. <laughs> Never know. I might sink to the bottom. Hopefully, yeah, no. I don't float anymore. Safe trip. Hopefully, no injuries. No. Yeah, don't want to get injured no, on the water slide. That's embarrassing. Just fun. Just kind of fun. It's fun, successful trip. Yeah. Good time. Might, might even have a cocktail. I'm super excited. It's going to be a fun yeah. weekend. I'm excited. It's going to be a long day Saturday, but. It'll be a long day, but yeah. it'll be fun. It's a free it'll trip. Thanks it. to my, you'll be thanks so to glad my employer. Of... Yes. It's uh, super in big, cool. In bigger medical. It. Yeah, taking care of us. That's really cool. All right. We got to go to a store and get me a swimsuit because oh. I, I don't have one at Couple. 300 pounds. Oh, are we doing that right now? I, got, I, yeah, I don't right. have a swimsuit. Don't what am I going to do? Wear a marble bag? Like a bodybuilding, like we've known this is coming for months. I know. So I don't know. I mean, we've been to Spokane. We've. You know, I'm gonna go to. I'm places. gonna go to Walmart and buy a cheap swimsuit. It'll probably fall off, but whatever happens, happens. Tristan, um, from Roger Brome. Tristan, aren't you the strongest school teacher in the West? <laughs> oh, that's cool. You're a school teacher. That's neat. I work at a school. I'm a para right now. Para educator. Para educator right now. As of right now. Um, Roger Brome. Thanks, Ryan and Ashley. See you next week. Thanks for joining us, Roger. Hope hope the rest of your week goes really well. Um, Tristan, thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Alex Estrada, great show as always, guys. Thank you both. Thank you, Alex. We appreciate, I appreciate that. that. We're we're glad I you know. make it each week. It's always awesome to see your name in here. I know you guys like to see the max effort night, and I was really hoping to put up big weight, and it just churned my guts to be nauseated that night and not be able to showcase a thousand pound lift or something. But you know, I'll uh, I'll be back like Schwarzenegger. You know, it's just uh, some some nights you know you just don't have it, and I didn't have it on Tuesday night, man. I, I'm honest. I I I'm just yeah. I don't know what what the deal was, but uh, I think I'm out of the woods now. Mm -hmm. Drank some Pepto Bismol, feeling a lot better, and next week I get to start eating again. So. No more of this dieting crap. 
You should still eat clean. I know you should. I know. Yourself, All right. You ask me. Uh, let's see. Bruce Mason, look forward to hearing from y'all. Okay, yeah, Bruce. Definitely. Yeah, you might get a text from me. So. Yeah. We're Sunday, we'll see. Excited to to have you. Um, CJ Morgani, have a great night and trip. Hopefully, you have had a great birthday. You had a pretty good birthday. Thank you. I did. I did. It was a very pleasant day yesterday, and the grand finale, the biggest part, comes on Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. That's, yeah. You got a cool family that does that. Yeah, we've. I mean, every single, every single year, all thirty. Right now, only thirty-two, but after Sunday, all thirty-three years of my life, we've thirty-three. Even if it hasn't been on the exact day, That's like old I am. Okay. Yeah, In what year? Nineteen ninety. I don't even know. Oh my so god! I'm embarrassed. Okay, Alex Estrada. <laughs> thank you, man. No worries, brother Ryan. Those numbers are coming. I know, man. I gotta start putting it together. I'm gonna do this Canelli Classic thing. I gotta get my A game going here, and uh, quit pussyfooting around and uh, step it up. Is that what and, you're uh, doing? Oh no, I I really like uh um I got I got I got a plan. You know, I, I'm gonna come out and do the best I can. Have a plan to yeah. have an attack. Yeah, that's right. That sounds good. All right, guys, we'll uh we'll pick it up next week and we'll see how things go and we will uh we will be back and. We hope you guys have a really good rest of your week and an awesome weekend. And don't forget and... to send me videos, you know, and uh, if you can send in my email, I will post the things on the show. Don't be, don't be shy. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're Feel uh, free, whatever you're benching, whatever you're overhead pressing, if you're doing some tricep work, send it, man. We'll talk about it. Yeah. We'll showcase it. This show's not just about me. It's about all you guys. It's, yeah. it's like a family thing. So Bunch monster family. Yeah, we want right. to see what everybody's doing and it... how everybody's training is going and yeah. You know, when you hit a, a PR or something, you know, Hell yeah, let me know, man. really special to you. It's, we want to. It's important. We want to share it also. So we love you guys, man. Oh, great, yeah. uh, we, we've uh, we've came Part a long, a long way, a year, a year and a half almost now. So a year and a half. And we keep this of, thing going. Uh, I know it. Uh, you know, a lot of times it's uh, the the same thing over and over again. But uh, maybe we'll start incorporating some Olympic lifters. Ashley, any kind of input you want to bring in gymnastics? Feel free to send me videos too. Well, that's right. We should have we should have done a couple Olympic edition shows. We should have and showcase. Is like, the Olympics over with now? Or is it still going? I think it's still going. I don't know anything about it. I don't know how, what I don't know well, how much longer it goes, but yeah. I think it's still. Well, I I thought I saw it still going. I thought it, I thought I saw some lifts. I don't know. I saw some stuff on Facebook that looked really cool. I don't know if it was the Olympic Olympics. Lift. Yeah, one guy had didn't have an arm and he was uh, he was deadlifting. Holy shit! But I don't think that was I don't know what that was. There's CrossFit, a CrossFit lift or something. But hey, CrossFit, the CrossFit games were cool last too. weekend also. Oh, maybe that's what it was. And we had I told well I already told you but um, there was a girl from the Tri Cities that was doing really good at the games. Wow! And she actually happened to be uh, one of our ex gymnasts. Small world. Like when I first started working there, she was on our team for. And now she's in the CrossFit years. games. And now she's that's eight. cool yeah kicking ass like and it's funny because when she joined our you know when she was with us she got the nickname of bashful and we called her bash for short because she was very right. shy and quiet and now then on she's saturday whooping ass now yeah, yeah. The, the um the guy that's in charge of facebook i guess had posted on on one of his social media accounts a picture of her after winning uh her event like flipping off the audience oh, <laughs> like, oh, like with a smile on her face yeah. like in good fun like you know i raised cheering and it was okay she was doing, but it was just cool to you know Tell see you. how far she's come and... tim odell has a question here then we'll shut yeah. the show down and we gotta run hey guys how's it going ryan how's the bench pressing going my guy it's okay i'm down i'm down 20 pounds so it's not the best it could be so i need to get my body weight up weight moves weight so and uh i've been like dieting and I hate to use that word, but uh, uh, eating, clean. eating real clean eating and, and a lot less calories, and it sucks. I haven't had a McDonald's cheeseburger in like a month. Really? Oh Has no! It been that long? It's been that long. Wow. And I, yeah, not so that I getting, want one. You were getting bad there for a while. Oh well, bit. it's it's like five hundred feet away. Could, well, I, I mean, can see the golden arcs on my back walk door. And be, yeah, we can see the golden arcs yeah. literally from our house when we walk out our front door. It's like Tim Odell hit five eighty five today in a single play. Hey Tim, send me that video, man. Benchmonster yeah. gmail dot com. We'll throw send it on the it. show, dude. Carrot. Phenomenal. Absolutely. All right, y'all, y'all, y'all stay safe this week, and uh, please come back and join us next week, and we'll uh, we'll have a rocking show for sure. And uh, what what it may bring will remains to be seen. It may be a surprise. We will look forward to seeing you. Have okay. a great rest of your evening. Good night, everybody. Bye.